hi students welcome to dsc super 20 uh, in this video we are going to look at the solutions for dsc 2021 paper question numbers 21 to 25 which are all from micro for detailed solution of the other uh, questions please look at the playlist the description is uh, the link to the playlist is given in the description for any other uh, requirements like mock test series or past year papers as uh, free tests you can download our application again from the description so let's start this video <clears throat> so in the 21st question we have been asked about a market for pizza in which uh, which is perfectly competitive and the long run marginal cost is constant so if I draw the supply curve of this particular market it will be a horizontal curve which looks like this at C okay so for any given downward sloping demand curve the initial price for consumers is this much now when you impose a tax what happens is that the marginal cost goes up to C plus T right so this is the new price which consumers have to pay which is C plus T right so since the supply curve is completely horizontal the price for consumers goes up by t unlike any upward sloping demand curve so in this case the consumers will bear the total burden of the taxation okay so as compared to a situation where uh, you would have had a <coughs> down upward sloping supply curve so in case of an upward sloping supply curve like this and a downward sloping demand curve like this in this case when taxation is imposed not the entire burden is borne by the uh, by the consumers some burden is borne by the producers as well okay now coming to question number 22 suppose a monopolist is producing oil and is selling it in two cities uh, the same inverse demand function so the monopolist is facing the same inverse demand function in both the markets now in such a situation the profit maximizing condition is marginal revenue in market one must be equal to marginal revenue in market two but given the condition that this monopolist is supplying a lower quantity in first market what you have is mr1 which is q1 will be greater than mr2 at q2 right because marginal revenue is reducing in quantity higher the quantity lower will be the marginal revenue right so in this case what we know is key because because marginal revenues are different what the monopolist can do is he can shift some quantity from market 2 to market 1 thereby reducing the marginal revenue here increasing the marginal revenue here so keeping the total quantity constant which is basically q1 plus q2 what can be done is this total quantity can be distributed equally amongst the two markets so as to maximize the total revenue okay so that q by 2 will be equal to q1 plus q2 by 2 so here the bottom line is key the monopolist must equate marginal revenue in different markets and since the demand function is same marginal revenue function is same and that's why this monopolist needs to equate the quantity in both the markets okay it's not going to be a general rule ki q1 q2 same hona chahiye her market mein. it's just that mr1 and mr2 should be same in different markets okay let's look at question number 23 now so in question number 23 there are two buyers who are bidding for a single object in an auction the valuation is private information but it is known that each of them draw their valuations from uniform 0 to 1 so v1 comma v2 it is distributed uniformly in 0 to 1 the auction rule lets highest bidder take the object by playing the paying the lowest bid so the final bid amount b will be min of v1 comma v2 okay so this is uh, a, a simpler version of a repeat problem which keeps coming in statistics again and again in which you have a1 se leke a n which are distributed uniformly in 0 to 1 and in this case we see that the expected value of max a i is equal to 
n upon n plus 1 and expected value of min ai is equals to 1 upon n plus 1. So this is something that we have done in class. It is a very popular problem which has been asked almost every alternate year. And if you want to know this, you can basically install our application from the link below and you will get access to these things wherein you can uh, understand the stats ka part eh, in uniform distribution. So here the bid value is min. So what is the expected bid? It's going to be 1 upon n plus 1. Now since there are two buyers, you have n equals to 2, which implies that 1 upon n plus 1 becomes 1 upon 2 plus 1, which is 1 upon 3. So that's your correct answer, 1 by 3. Okay. Now let's come to question number 24. It's a very simple question of taxation. So there's a demand function and a supply function and then the government imposes a sales tax and it has asked by how much will the equilibrium market price increase because of the sales tax. Now this is akin to one of the earlier problems market pizza, pizza market wala. Uh, in that case when you impose a sales tax consumer price increases by the amount of taxation because the supply curve is horizontal but here the supply curve is not horizontal it has a slope. Okay. So let's look at the situation without tax. So what happens without tax is your X demand must be equal to X supply, which implies that 100 minus price must be equal to 20 plus 3 price, which implies price must be equal to 20. Okay. So this is without tax. Now what happens with tax? So with tax, the first thing is price which suppliers get is equals to price which consumers pay minus 10. So consumers, jo bhi price denge, usme se 10 tax, tax ka chala jayega and suppliers will be left with the remaining amount. Okay. Now X supplied is equals to 20 plus 3 times price of supplier, which is 20 plus 3 times of PC minus 10 from this equation which is equal to 3 PC minus 10. Okay. And X demanded is just dependent on PC. So that is going to be 100 minus PC, which must be equal to X supplied, which must be equal to 3 PC minus 10. So this tells me that 4 PC must be equal to uh, 110, which implies PC must be equal to 110 divided by 4, which is 27.5. So the difference between these two prices, delta P, this is consumer price, initial consumer price and final consumer price. So the delta P, the change in price is equals to 7.5. Okay. Now let's come to question number 25. In question 25, there are rich and uh, middle income consumers. So for one shawl and two shawl, the rich consumer's valuation of one shawl is 50,000. Whereas when you give her, her the second shawl, the marginal thing is 35, the marginal improvement. Whereas for middle income, the first shawl is valued at 35. The second shawl has zero marginal improvement. So any additional shawls are not going to yield any additional benefit to this particular type of consumer. The, the cost of production is 25,000 per shot. So the question tells us, gives us four different pricing strategies and we have to find out which strategy will yield the highest profit for the seller. So first strategy is P1 35, P2 65. Okay. So when P1 is 35 and P2 is 65, what happens is that the middle income consumers buys P1 and the rich consumer will buy P2, right? He'll buy P2 because P2 ke under total benefit is 80,000, 50 plus 30, whereas the cost is only 65,000. So the profit of rich guy from buying P2 is equals to 15K, the surplus. The surplus, bolte hai, isko profit nahi bolte hai. And surplus of rich guy from buying P1, just buying one shawl is 50 minus 35. So that is also 15. And surplus of rich guy from buying two units of one shawl is going to be 
80 minus 70 so that is 10 so obviously p2 is giving uh, an equally high valuation so that's why in this case the rich person is going to purchase the bundle p2 okay so now that we have established that the rich guy purchases bundle p2 we can find out the profit so profit is 50 rich people purchasing the 65000 bundle the cost of 65000 bundle is 50000 rupees because there are two shawls in this bundle each shawl 25000 rupees so the net price is uh, 50000 net cost is 50000 plus 100 middle income people purchasing 35000 ka shawl whose price is 25000 so the net profit it turns out to be 50 into 15 plus 100 into 10 so that is uh, 1750 okay so this is the profit in this case okay now let's move to case number 2 so in case number 2 the poor man uh, sorry the middle income person's uh, price bundle remains same whereas the second bundle two two shawl bundle it goes to a price of 50000 so now what happens is that the rich buy will continue to buy p2 it's just that the profit will be 50 minus 50 which is 0 so the net profit will just be 1000 okay now in third case p1 is 25000 p2 is 65000 so now what happens is that the middle income person will continue to buy p1 the rich guy if you come back to this table if the rich guy purchases bundle P2, his benefit is 15,000. Yes. If he purchases bundle P1, his benefit is 25,000. Because 25,000, 50,000 is the uh, utility and the price is 25,000. So the difference between 15 and 25 is 25. Whereas if he purchases two single shawls, then he pays 25 into 2 which is 50 but his benefit is 80 so this becomes 30 80 minus 50 so what the rich person will do is he will purchase two shawls two individual shawls p1 wali so that will be 50 minus 50 right so the poor people uh, the rich people will purchase two units of p1 and the cost of that is just 25 so 25 into 2 is 50 and the middle income person will also purchase 25 car bundle which costs 25,000 so the net income for this guy will now be zero so the profit in this case is zero right now let's come to the fourth case in the fourth case what happens is that the middle income person is completely wiped out because his benefit is only 35 whereas it costs 50,000 to purchase one shot. So middle person is not buying anything. The rich person by buying this bundle, uh, by buying P2 bundle 80 minus 80 so that is 0. By purchasing P1 bundle uh, what 50 minus 50 that is 0 and if he buys two units of P1 it costs him 1 lakh whereas the benefit is 80,000 so this is minus 20k so obviously he will go with uh, p2 so the profit in this case is just 50 rich people purchasing the 80,000 ka bundle which costs him 50,000 so 50 into 30 so that is 1500 okay so this is equal to 1500 so the pr profit in this case is 1500 so the highest profit is obviously the first one 1750 so this is the price bundle which is going to yield the highest profit okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, for more such uh, nice content about these entrance exams and if you want any mock test series or any other free content help please download our application from the link below